we are going to talk about the lady with a beard. The lady with a beard is a Cameroonian novel written by Alobuet de Pierre. And it focuses about a lady who is considered to be a lady with a beard. The beard is a symbol of masculinity. And when it is ascribed to a woman, we are simply saying that the lady in the novel is a woman who has masculine qualities. This is a traditional story set in the heart of the Bakosi land, showcasing Bakosi, Bakosi culture and folklore. It is a global view of a people who have not been diluted by modernism, whose way of life is still purely traditional, and they view their lives in that light. The story expresses Bakosi culinary with meals such as alem, zabegen, etc. as seen in the mother and daughter bond at the beginning of the novel when Imade and Tube are preparing alem. It is also a story about the place of women in the boat mood community. Women are considered or are supposed to play a subsidiary role to men. This is the reason why society will always frown when a woman carries out acts or duties which are reserved for men. It is also a beautiful piece of writing that showcases human relationships with the ups and downs. Love and solidarity prevails as the people share with one another in moments of sadness and in moments of joy. Like every society, people are also bound to clash with one another and create tension. Nevertheless, they will always strive to make sure that they patch up things for the harmony of the community in which they live. The people sing praises for actions that bring honor, and they also condemn actions that bring disgrace. The story brings out the African personality from an African perspective through respect for elders, colorful use of proverbial language and the traditions of the people. In effect, the novel traces Bakosi tradition, tracing through births, marriages, deaths, and it also highlights the relationship between the living and the dead, the manner in which the people treat the dead, and their total belief system. It is a story that deals with the forces of good and evil, with the latter being triumphant. Hard work and kind-heartedness are societal traits that are encouraged and wish that people should emulate. The story also touches on the clash of cultures, that is African tradition and Christianity. Ironically, many Christians are also traditionalists. These contradictions arouse cultural conflict between the various communities. It is therefore an important text which will look from the point of view of tradition, which will look from the point of view of human relationships, and which can also be looked from the point of view of cultural conflict. And lastly, a text which can be looked at from the various conflicts that arise in the society, which can be communal or individual, as the case may be with a Made and the women, a Made and Mwaba community, a Made and Wobe, a Made and Ahone, etc., etc. 
It is also a novel that traces the joy that abounds in community, in the community, when there is a joyful event, such as the naming ceremony at Kotumind, or the marriage at Etiek. It is also the warm-heartedness with which people treat one another, like the reception giving to Imade when Ahone comes and takes her to a Kenzo during her conflict with the women that leads to her ostracism. It is a novel where the heart speaks. It is a novel where people show actions which are worth emulating.